Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to wrap text on Figma. So now the first thing that you will need to do is to go to your web browser and then you will need just to go to your searching bar or URL bar and search for Figma. So after that, we will need just to go here to this first website, which is figma.com. We click on the Figma and here we will find this uh, index page or uh, the main menu. After that, we will need just to sign in or log in. So basically, you need just to click on login, or you can create your own account by uh, creating with your email, etc. So we need just to go uh, to create an account and add uh, your informations. So basically, I'm just going to log in and I'm going to continue with my Google account. So basically, I'm just going to click here and basically it will log in me and automatically into Figma website. So now all it remains to do is to follow these simple steps. So now after that you have logged in, I have created a project. So basically after creating the design, we will need just to use a plugin. So here, if you right click on your uh, whiteboard, you will find the plugins and then I'm just going to search for plugins and then you can either add uh, the arc plugin or two path so this one will only wrap text uh, depends on some path or you can have the arc plugin that will arc your uh, text however you want so i'm just going to for uh, two path and i'm going to run and basically now i'm having the two path plugin so now i'm just going to create a text so basically here I'm going to create something and let's make sure that the text is visible. So let's make it here and I'm going to add hello. So here we have our text now and we can make it bigger. So now it is visible. Now we are going to add some shapes. So for example, let's add an ellipse and we will have like that. So basically all we need to do is to select two things there is this is the path and this is our text we need just to curve and uh, do whatever you want and then we are going to link and basically now you will need uh, just to add the alignment etc and you will have uh, let's have it here and then we are just going to link and basically we have our text that has been warped and of course you can modify whatever you want you can do like this you can also have an offset starting to move in your text etc the alignment you can have multiple things that you want also you can uh, do many other things so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time